welcome back to my channel. So today I am 30 weeks pregnant, which is so, so crazy to me. That means I only have 10 more weeks left, give or take, could be a little bit more or a little bit less, but I'm hoping for a little bit less. Um, but I've had a lot going on this week, so I'm going to get right into the baby stats. So this week, the baby is the size of a cabbage and baby is 16 inches long and weighs over three pounds. This week, the baby's brain is developing wrinkles and grooves and he can now regulate his own body temperature. And he is also shedding lin linugo. I don't know how to pronounce that. It's the like peach fuzz that covers their body, um, but he's shedding that now, which is pretty cool. Yeah, just a lot of crazy stuff going on with the baby right now. Um, and as for my symptoms this week, I've been having stretching in like my lower, lower abdomen, which I've read as normal. Um, and I've also been having um, like pelvic shocks. I know they call it like lightning crotch. Um, I've been having that from time to time, which is definitely not fun. Um, and then, oh, so this was really weird. Um, so I think I mentioned this in my last update video, but Brendan, me, my mom, his mom, his grandmother, and his brother <laughs> all went out to eat. And so I wore like a dress with tights. And then when we came back home, my whole stomach was so itchy and covered in like these tiny little red bumps. And it was really weird. And I had to put like aloe on it and it was just super itchy and they were like the tiniest tiniest little red dots so i don't know what that meant or i actually read about it in my um what to expect when you're expecting book and it says it's normal but it was just really weird i had like all these itchy red bumps on my stomach and it, it kind of freaked me out but um yeah everything that i read in that book says that it's pretty much normal so that happened and then constant peeing. I get up, I wish I would I would count, but I think my average is like five or six times I will get up in the night to pee. And then the other day it was like every 20 minutes and I was like, this cannot be real or right. Like this is not normal. And um, I was kind of scared I was going to get like a UTI or something, but I ended up drinking like the unsweetened cranberry juice. I don't know if any of you girls out there have had to drink the unsweetened <laughs> cranberry juice to prevent like a UTI, but it's really gross. <laughs> um, but I did that and the next day I felt better. So, and I wasn't peeing like constantly. So I'm hoping that was just like a little fluke because UTIs are not fun. <laughs> Another symptom I've been having is I can sit down and like sit on the floor fine, but then when I try to get up, it's so, so straining and I feel like an old lady, like I cannot, it's so hard to get up. It's almost like I have to like roll to my side to like stand up, it's it's kind of funny. Um, and then another symptom I've been having is crazy dreams and I wish that I could like remember them to like tell you guys, but it's nothing like, nothing that I'd be able to remember, but just really crazy, like vivid dreams. And sometimes it feels like when I wake up, I'm like exhausted, like I didn't sleep even though I was sleeping the whole time. And another symptom that I've been having is that my skin has been so awesome lately. It's super clear. And I feel like this whole pregnancy, I've been super, super lucky. Before I was pregnant, I did have an issue with psoriasis. I've had it since I was like, 13 or 14 years old and I've tried every topical medicine, every oral medicine, and it just stayed really persistent. So that was like a big problem that I've had pretty much my whole like adolescent to adult life. Um, and then finally, like a couple of months before I got pregnant, I um, ended up getting prescribed like a steroid shot that you do yourself at home. So I did that. I think I only did two or three shots and the psoriasis completely went away and it was awesome. Um, and then when I got pregnant, I was a little bit scared because I was like, oh no, I can't 
do the steroid shots. So my psoriasis is definitely gonna come back and there's nothing you can really do when you're pregnant to get rid of it. So I was really, really nervous about that when I first found out I was pregnant. Um, but this whole pregnancy, I've been so, so lucky that my skin has been so clear and so great. And I'm hoping that it stays that way, but I don't know if I'm going to be that lucky. Um, but as for other things this week, I had another ultrasound and a doctor's appointment on the same day. So I'm going to go get the ultrasound. Hang on. All right. So I did get another ultrasound. So I'm going to show you guys right now. This is, I think, the most clear picture that we have of him, which is so awesome. But let me try to cover up my name. Um, but his like lips and his nose are a little bit blurry, but you can definitely like see the outline of his head. There's his head and his, he has like the biggest <laughs> chubby cheeks, just like his mama. And then he has like a little pointy chin, just like his dad. So I really think he's going to look a lot like me. Um, I think he's going to look like me and he's going to act like Brendan because he, is like so restless in there and Brennan is like so high energy <laughs> and I really think that this baby is gonna look like his mom and act like his dad um, but yeah just a really sweet picture and I feel like I can really tell what he looks like the ultrasound went really really good and they said that he weighs 3.6 pounds which is so crazy I feel like he's gonna be a chubby baby um, but they did say that he is in the 57th percentile. So it was explained to me that that means he's like perfectly average, like 50%, 55%. Sorry, my dog. <laughs> um, but yeah, he is perfectly average, which is good with me. Um, and <laughs> another funny thing that the doctor asked me is if I'm having heartburn. Um, and I have... I'm sure all you girls out there are going to be like, oh my God, you're so lucky. I've never had heartburn in my life. I don't know what it feels like, but apparently heartburn is super common, but I have never had it and I am going to knock on wood because I, I've just never had it. So I guess I'm just really lucky. Uh, that kind of got me thinking about symptoms that I've read about and watched other girls on YouTube talk about that I have not had. So I made a quick little list of things that I have not been experiencing. So one of them is the popped out belly button. My belly button has not popped out. It's like kind of pop, like it's, it's flat, but not like popped out, I don't think. I think because my belly button was pretty deep to begin with that it's just taken a long time and I, I kind of get a feeling it's just not going to pop out or it's just going to be like staying flat. Um, so that's one kind of weird symptom that I haven't experienced. Um, like I said, heartburn. I've never had it in my life. I don't know what it feels like. And Brendan gets heartburn like kind of frequently. I asked him like what it feels like and he's like, you'll, you'll know <laughs> when you have heartburn. So... I don't know, I've just never had it and I'm really lucky. But I hope that I don't like regret putting this out there. Um, and then Braxton Hicks contractions. I've been Googling and Googling all about it. I went on Reddit actually to see on like a pregnancy forum to see if, I just wanted to see like when women started having Braxton Hicks contractions. And a lot of them were saying like, 17 weeks, 20 weeks, 22 weeks. I'm like, I'm 30 weeks and I still haven't had any Braxton Hicks contractions. So I don't know if that's good or bad. I kind of have a feeling that the baby is going to be either exactly 40 weeks or go over um, because I haven't been feeling any Braxton Hicks contractions yet. So I guess we'll just have to see. But yeah, just interesting if anybody else has had those symptoms that they have never experienced, I would love to hear about it in the comments. But other than that, that is everything that has gone on this week. So now I'm going to show you my 30 week belly. All right, everybody. So here is my 30 week belly. I do have a dress on, but I put leggings on underneath so I can show you guys and <laughs> not like flash you. Um, but here is my 30 week 
belly. See here it was from side in the front and as you can see my belly button's not popped out it's like a little bit flat but not protruding and this from the side again I don't know if you guys can see I do have like a couple of teeny tiny stretch marks but, yep, that's my, my big belly. All right, but that is pretty much it for my 30 week update. And I just wanted to thank everybody so much for liking my videos and subscribing and I do just want to mention that I haven't gotten any comments in the past couple of videos so if you want to comment please do and I respond to every single person that comments so that would be greatly appreciated um, but other than that that is it so thank you so much for watching and oh one other thing too is if I've noticed on my analytics that I think it's now it's 80 percent of people that watch my videos have not subscribed so if you are one of those 80 percent please subscribe to my channel that would mean a lot to me and that is pretty much it so thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video bye